Hello everyone. How's it going my friends? Wanted to make a quick check-in video for you guys. We took an unplanned hiatus from the channel, but everything's going just great. Wanted to let you guys know that a lot of you have written in asking how we're doing. And I just want to give you this update, let you know things are going great. Food Forest is booming. So we just want to give you a quick autopilot pool garden update over here we've got things like heirloom tomatoes growing chayote squash honeydew melon eggplants amaranth fava bean alice is over there next to some kabocha squash we've also got some zucchini and watermelon back there but what are you doing over there alice oh i'm trying to uh, pick up some male flowers for the squash so Alice right now is pulling a squash blossom harvest, a very popular addition in Asian cuisine. I think it's quite delicious, but there is a method, right, honey? You don't yes. want to just indiscriminately pick any blossom, Yes. but you're going specifically after the male flowers, right? Yeah, only the male flowers. Because the female blossom is going to produce the fruit. So how can you tell whether it's a male or a female? You want to show them? This one is a female flowers because there is a pods. And this one is a male because all the way down over there, it's long. And this one is short and there is a pods over there. I'm so happy with my squash, kabocha squash. So what are you going to make with the blossoms? Sute, sute. Like a stir fry? No, not a stir fry. What is that, honey, with this squash? What do you call that? Burong? Bulanglang! Bulang lang. Yeah. Almost got it. <laughs> so do you cook and eat the stem too? No, only the flowers and I will take out the inside. So as I was saying, uh, this system is thriving, doing extremely well. It's virtually set it and forget it meaning all you need to do is monitor make sure that it has water we've done zero fertilization other than what initially went into the growing medium uh, one thing i will add is as these plants began to grow up they obviously are going to take up more water especially on these hot days so the system i currently have set up using this 40 gallon trash barrel which is dispensing water on a timer is being pushed to the maximum which is why I've been coming out here once a week usually and just filling up these pools with my garden hose which only takes a few minutes and that keeps them hydrated for another several days. I have been pulling off zucchinis and we've got several more starting to develop. Here we've got some watermelons lining out every which way and I have to say I'm extremely happy with the way things are working out here with this particular design, the larger vining crops growing throughout all of these different little pools is helping to protect the shells of the pools from all day sun exposure should prolong the life can i show it to you again look it's even growing up here onto yes. our hugel bed as long as we're here i'll show you all the snap peas thrived out we are about to harvest these pods now for seed stock Bunny. can't see me behind the sunflowers <laughs> alice is the garden maiden of honor We already pulled our artichoke harvest. We've got plenty more heads that are now going into bloom. See, we've got apples growing over here.
I installed some burlap up here to give some afternoon shade. We have an overcast day today, but that afternoon shade has been nice on the squash plants. Been harvesting an abundance of pluots as usual. They're just literally falling off the tree. Loaded with juice. All different shades of hollyhock flowers throughout the garden. Check out the pomegranate blooms here. We've actually got some small fruit beginning to develop. See some larger ones over there. Just one of our crazy grapevines back here. And there are several examples of Dan's perennial tree kales and tree collards starting to reemerge. We're collecting seed right now for our 2022 harvest. And here's a patch of tree kales and collards. You can see the different colored stems. There's green, there's purple, there's lighter green leaves, darker. This entire patch here was all grown off of self-seeding seeds that came off the surrounding plants. Each and every one of them is growing an amazing variety. Anyway guys, we hope you're all doing well, having a great day, a great weekend, and in high vibration, high spirit. Good days are ahead of us. The garden is a perfect example of what we have to look forward to, the abundance of life. So with that, I want to thank you all for watching. Have yourself a good day. Till next time, this is Dan from plantabundance.com. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.